Well, hello, this is Mr. Chisholm, and I am here tonight with my second video, and I'm going to show you how to set up your shared band folder, and this is where you'll be putting your recordings. So first of all, I want you to log into your drive. And if you log into your drive, this is uh, my son's drive up here. If you log into your drive, I want you to go to shared with me right here, shared with me. And in there, you'll notice a folder from today that has my name on it, Richard Chisholm. And you, your name will be there. So this is a folder I've named, your name, and it's from me. Now, what I want you to do with this is click on it and hit rename. And all I want you to add after it is band. So you know that this is your band folder. Then you hit OK, and you're set to go. So now, on the Shared With Me link here, you have your folder band. And then it's very simple now. Once you have your recording, and you've made your recording, you simply drag it into that folder. Now, when you check it on here, there it is. So that was my uh, test. I just called it Rich Chisholm, but that's your MP3. So you would put your name on there. So let's say this was, uh, you know, I'll just put Ryland. Okay. So <clears throat> you drag your tape in there, and that's it. So if you go back in here, there's your band folder. And inside, there's your recording. And you don't have to name the date or anything because the date and everything will be on there. Then on my side, I have a list of all the students. So I go in Cobra Black. And you see I have every student here. And then when I go down and I look in your folder, this is just Ryland's end example, I open it up and there's his recording. And I can just check it. So that's how you do it. You go to your your login, you go to shared with me, you find the folder that says Rich Chisholm I shared with you, you right click it, and you just add the word band. Okay, as usual, if you have any questions, just send me an email. And thanks for listening.